Hey everybody, welcome to Sunday, and welcome to Roman Spice by Seaforth. Thumbs up, thumbs down, today on an afternoon edition of Barber Dave's Shaves and Such. We'll be right back. Hey everybody, yeah, uh, sorry for the late uh, afternoon shave today. Had a whole bunch of stuff go on last night and had a bunch of chores to do this morning. Uh, unfortunately, we lost one of our pets. So it's been kind of a discombobulated uh, type of uh, day. So we're doing an afternoon shave today. Now, when I saw this, I received an email from Dennis at Spearhead Shaving, who, as you know, if um, you uh, partake in his stuff, uh, that he is the resurrector of Seaforth. Now, I've got almost every single one he has, but I saw this one called Roman Spice. Now, the scent notes are grapefruit, apple, spring water, jasmine, geranium, beechwood, frankincense, and spice. So, aside from the frankincense and spice, this is like right in my wheelhouse. So, I ordered it like five seconds after the email came out. And uh, Dennis does a great job on these soaps. However, I was a little concerned with the frankincense and spice because living in the Southwest, you get a little bit worried that the frankincense, you know, similar to myrrh is a very heavy, heavy type of scent. And, uh, but you barely even see that. This thing is unbelievable. In my opinion, once again, just Barber Dave's opinion, this is Dennis's swan song. I think this is the finest finest one that he's made. And I am a huge fan of Heather, um, one of his other soaps. However, that being said, I did notice some differences. Now, I would say right off the puck, now I'm going to do something different I do today. Usually I, I'm already starting to lather, um, but I don't know how if I'm going to get a chance to do uh, some more videos this week because we've got some other stuff going on. So uh, the one thing I noticed about this soap is right out of the gate, you get a strong hint of the grapefruit. You get that pungent, you know, uh, just that citrus. But then you get the apple, and then it all just starts uh, just mixing together. And I would say right off the puck, it's a four out of five. Now, the one thing I noticed different, now I know that I, and I'm not much on soap bases, but this soap base is far different than any of the other ones that I have from him, including one that I beta tested, which was... Uh, um, black watch this one loads like a monster so the reason why i'm loading this today on camera is normally i'll do a 15 to 20 second load uh you know and then go straight to face lathering um when i've done that the last two times i've had so much soap and the proto lather is very very sticky uh it reminds me a lot of um CBL's Orion, but not quite as pasty. But I have tried over the last, because I've been shaving this with the last three days, that um, I've tried to break this soap and I have not been able to break it yet. So I'm going to do something different. Um, uh, it's been uh, soaking for a little while. I've got a, uh, my Purple Haze synthetic brush and I'm going to do something I've never done before. Usually I'll start swirling. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a plunger and I'm going to turn and then I'm going to do two swirls. So that's what, three seconds? I'm curious to see if this soap is going to bloom the way it did uh, the last couple of times that I I, um, that I shaved with it, because it was a ton. So I purposely loaded light to see what happens. As expected, this thing just explodes. Um, so what I would recommend if you do get... The Roman Spice, which you really should. Um, load it short, five, six seconds maybe. And I would just plunge in, twist, and then do a couple of swirls. And look at that. That's all you need. And I'm going to have, and I still going to have to add water. And I said, because it's still pasty, but I've never had a soap uh, that has the cushion that this soap has. Never. And that includes Sepanificio Veracino. That includes. Uh, uh, Panna Criminalavia. This has just an incredible, incredible cushion for the razor to skate around on. And like I said, it's still extremely pasty. 
And so I'm going to have to add water. And like I said, this is with a tiny, tiny load. Um, so I really do think, and Dennis, if you watch this, uh, I think this one's your swan song, but uh, this is amazing. Just the fragrance, everything. It can be worn in winter. It can be worn in summer, uh, which, you know, we're already tickling 100. And I was worried about that. But like I said, I've used it the last three days. And it's just amazing. So there you go. I mean, that's, a like I said, a ten, a less than a 10-second load. Swirl. Swirl on top of the puck, run it around once, and that's what it's giving you. So um, very, very impressed with this. Now, I am somewhat matchy-matchy because Roman Spice comes in purple. However, those of you that know me on the channel and at the Cadre, oh, speaking of that, if you like what you see here, please come and join us at www.theshavingcadre.com. We do feel we are the finest gentlemen and uh, shaving forum on the interwebs with a lot of different subjects. Um... In fact, we may be doing a cruise next year. Uh, so come and see us there. And also, if you like uh, talk show type stuff, come and see my buddy and I, Drinks and Daves, on YouTube. And this Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Mountain Standard Time, the finals of the Vodka Wars or Vodka Wars will pick our uh, our winner. So please join us for that. Um, we are going to do a straight shave today. And like I said, to be matchy-matchy with the purple, I've got my purple neon and then, of course, my gold dollar purple neon as well. Uh, I do have another brush coming that's an amethyst, so it matches. Yeah, well. And if I could ever find the H Diamond Hayashi with the purple scales, then I'd be perfect. Now, this is the first straight shave that I've done with this soap. Uh, previously, I had used uh, the Tridari. And I also use the Vector, uh, because usually with a new soap, that's what I do. I always use the Vector first. But I got to tell you, the Glide is just, the Cushion and Glide on this soap, compared to all of Dennis's other ones, and they're good, but this one is just off the chart. And once you start shaving with it, you know, and you've got the lather going, uh, the... Uh, the strength of scent bumps up a notch because as you're, you're you're taking your strokes, you can just get that wafting into your olfactory, and it's wonderful. This uh, razor has been stropped. Uh, 25 on linen, uh, 25 on leather, and then 30 on a super curve leather bench strop. And yes, this started its life as a gold dollar. Yeah, so the it, it, fantastic with a straight razor as well. But even with that, that very light loading of the brush and the synthetic brush was not very wet, it's still, well, oh, beautiful. And the residual, oh, and that's one thing I failed to mention, the residual slickness with water on this, you could literally do two more passes just like this and not have to worry about it. But what I was going to say is I could still add, in fact, I'm going to, I could add more water. That's how thick this soap is. So it holds moisture very, very well. Feels wonderful on the face. And like I said, it just, it, it, this has a very good chance. This has a real good chance of being the number one soap in the den. Um, not only because of the scent, but of the characteristics um, of, of the soap. And I got to tell you that saying that is not, I don't say it lightly. It's 
So we'll continue with the properties and the scent properties of this soap a little later. Um, I mentioned at the beginning of the show that uh, we lost one of our fur babies today, uh, our cat Maui. Uh, we called him the big kahuna. He's about a 31 pound cat, but he had started losing weight and they thought he had cancer. And he just was never seeming in pain. He was always purring, but he just got so weak. And uh, he got down to a very, very light weight. And um, he passed last night here at home, which was good because we wanted him to be comfortable. And he was an older cat. I mean, he was, I think, 12 or 13. But probably the mellowest cat that I'd ever had. In fact, we called him, for those that are familiar with Fast Times at Ridgebone High, we called him the Jeff Spicoli of cats because literally he'd walk around and go, meow. You know, just a really cool cat. Um, he was a lilac point Siamese rescue. He was actually feral, him and his cousin Ruger, who we have. He was a chocolate seal point mix. Uh, and they were cousins. And unfortunately today, Ruger's been kind of walking around the house wondering where Maui is, but... And we called Maui our big kahuna. So it's been a little bit of a tough day today. And we put him under his favorite tree. But at least he's happy now. And I also want to thank those folks on the cadre that reached out um, about Maui. Certainly do appreciate it. So again, you can keep adding water to this and it just, it you can't break this soap. Now it's a challenge. I think I'm going to try one day to sit here and see if I can break the soap. But with a, you know, like I said, with a tiny, tiny loading process. I mean, I've never loaded a soap that little. Now that can be good or bad for uh, Dennis at Seaforth or at uh, Spearhead. Because if you can load it that easily, you don't have to buy as much, which isn't a good thing. Because we want to keep buying this stuff. And those of you that are familiar with uh, Dennis at Spearhead Shaving and know his Seaforth line, they're all fantastic. Um, Heather has always been my favorite, favorite because it reminds me a lot of uh, Penhaligon's English Fern, but not no more. I'll put a link uh, to Spearhead Shaving in the description because I can tell you, if you've never tried Spearhead, this is one to start with. But I think I will, I will warn you, once you get one of his soaps, you're going to want them all. And uh, he does have, and I'll be using this today, he does have uh, an aftershave toner, which is a witch hazel, and then he also has an aftershave splash and a EDT uh, for all his scents, I think. I have, I use a different witch hazel, so I've got the uh, aftershave. I 
but I have the aftershave or the witch hazel tonic in the uh, black watch. I think the only one that I don't have is his lime, I think. And I've got so many lime soaps, that's probably why I didn't buy it. So I know this, um, this shave is a little bit longer, so I appreciate you bearing with me. So here's a perfect example, perfect DSBBS shave. So talking about residual slickness, normally, as you know, when I clean up my neck area and so forth, I would put a little bit of lather on. I'm going to show you how slick this stuff really is. So not only can I do that, and it stays slick. So you don't need to even put any soap on there. And very rarely will I do a flat blading technique without uh, any type of lather, but it just, it, the residual slickness is just through the roof. Now, normally, will I do that? Yes, but for this review, I wanted to take it through its paces and just absolutely just stupendous. And I'm also going to show you how much lather, and you guys saw me load it, how much lather is still left in this brush. And I'm not going to waste it. It almost, and this is going to sound weird, uh, just taking that that leftover lather from the uh, from the brush, it almost has the consistency of cold cream. Not quite as thick, um, but it has the consistency and the slickness that you'd get out of a cold cream. It just feels tremendous on the face. I mean, just rinsing it off takes a while. <laughs> so don't worry about overwatering this. Uh, I'm going to try probably tomorrow. I'll probably try this with a badger brush uh, to see uh, if it releases the lather. Because that would be my only concern. But with a synthetic brush, just load light, which you never hear. Um, no alum issue at all. Now with this soap, I will tell you, you're really gonna wanna rinse out uh, your brush. Cause like I said, this soap is just thick, thick, thick. Even with as much water as I've added. So our uh, brush for the day was the uh, Matte Deruder uh, Purple Neon. And that will be replaced when I use this uh, shave set with a, a Yaki uh, Amethyst brush that's on its way. Oh, just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shave. Uh, to stick with the uh, the citrus and grapefruit, uh, basically I'm going to be using Quinn's grapefruit and orange rind, uh, witch hazel. And what I do normally with this witch hazel is I put it on with my face a little bit wet, and then I'll pat dry, and then I'll put on a little bit more. But this plays really well with the um, the aftershave and fragrance. Uh, the aftershave is a bit stronger. And again, the uh, Razor Day is a uh, JD Lindy or J Lindy uh, gold dollar modification uh, with the same scales that uh, are the same as the brush. Okay, so for the aftershave, again, Seaforth. Uh, Roman spice and just oh, 
wonderful stuff. This one has, I think, to me, the aftershave is a little bit more apple forward, but then the, the grapefruit brings in that citrus. And you can you can detect the birch wood and just a hint of the frankincense. And I don't get a lot of spice uh, from this one. Um, it's just smooth. Uh, it's, it's really, really, really nice. Um, our talc today will be clubbing. It's quick. It's easy. It's what I use in the shop. So uh, in in um, review, I personally, like I said, I've got all but one of Dennis's soaps. And I should say that uh, this review is not... Um, not compensated for. I bought this and I got to tell you, um, Heather has always been my favorite, but that being said, uh, this to me, I, I do honestly a hundred percent believe that this is Dennis's swan song. I think this is fantastic. It's going to be, he's going to be hard pressed in my mind to beat this one. Uh, Cause it's just fantastic. The, um, uh, the EDT uh, is much more frankincense forward, I think, but it doesn't last very long be, uh, before you start get, getting the apple and the grapefruit and everything else. So that's kind of my quick and dirty review of Roman Spice by Seaforth. You got to get you some. Uh, I appreciate it. I know this was a little bit of a longer video, but uh, as always, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to uh, do videos tomorrow and Tuesday, but if I can, I will. It's just that we've got a bunch on our plate right now. So anyhow, thank you for joining us. I certainly appreciate it. Don't forget www.theshavingcadre.com and Drinks and Dave's on Tuesday night. I'm Barbara Dave. This has been Barbara Dave Shaves and Such. Get your Roman Spice. And that means... Yes, it was awesome. Have a great day.